Welcome to Frisinghall Models and Railways, a model railway and hobby shop based in Bailden, West Yorkshire. We're not far from Bradford and Leeds and we're on a bus route and also served by Bailden train station. So if you do come by train, it's quite it's only a five minutes walk from the train station for you. We're based in a modern industrial unit. We've got a large car park. And whilst we are based on the first floor, we do have a lift. So if you do struggle with stairs, the lift there is available for you to use. We're going to go upstairs today, have a look around the shop, see what we've got on offer, and also show you our Ryburn Bridge layout, which is an engaged layout on loan from Pico, which we hope you'll find interesting. And welcome to the landing of Frisinghall Models and Railways. In front of us, you'll see our pre owned section. This is an ever changing cabinet here at Frisinghall. Models in here change on a daily basis with collections, personal items coming in which we will then store, clean and service before placing in the cabinet at reasonable prices for everybody to buy. Entering into the main body of the shop here, as we can see on the right hand side we've got our glues and various uh, masking tapes. Moving on to the Pico accessories and track. Walking further down the shop, we can see the Metcalf ranges, lots of different buildings. Flying on down, we've got the plastic double kits, the Parkside range. Down at the end of the shop, we have the Woodland Scenic Stand. Um, all needs for scenery as well as the trees. In the back cabinets, however, extensive ogre range. At the top end of the shop now, you can see our display cases with all our engines and stock in double O, O gauge, double O nine, and of course, engage. Any back down the shop now, we have our extensive range of Backman buildings and the Harmony buildings next to it. Following round, you can see the Jervis range, uh, another alternative to the scenery. Above that, you can just make out the Oxford Diecast range. Lots of different vehicles covering different time periods, settings. Last aisle, as you can see, we've got our extensive range of the Harby wagon and coaches coming round to the extensive Backman wagon and coaches. And down below, we have the Oxford Rail range. Moving down, you've got the Engage accessories and the Kestrel range, next to the Pico Ratio range, and then underneath we have the Engage track and accessories. And part of our business here, is, as well as model railways, is plastic kits. Some here, as you can see, the new Batman Adventures in Plastic, which are all based on the original Thunderbirds TV show. Got quite a few in at the moment, as you can see, we've got Thunderbird 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, along with other famous ones such as Fab 1 and the Mall. And on to the rest of our plastic kit ranges, as you can see, we've got Tamiya, Revel, Itarelli, in most scales, 172nd, 135th, we've got civilian vehicles and military vehicles alike, along with things like Games Workshop, we'll have a 40k Energy Sigma, as you see panning down the screen there. And of course, to complement your models and finish them off in style, you need paints, glues, brushes, we've got it all. As you can see here, we've got Tamiya paints, we've got Revel, we've got Rail Match for your railway needs, and the classic that everybody knows, we've got Humbrel in the ac new acrylic bottles there, and the enamel ranges. We're now going to take a look at Ryburn Bridge. This is an engaged layout on loan from Pico. Uh, it's previously been on the exhibition circuit and in other model railway shops, but since arriving with ourselves, it has under undergone extensive renovation through by the members of the team here. It's also been featured in Railway Modeler recently. So I'm going to hand over to my colleague Ollie now, who will talk a little bit more about the layout the equipment that we've used and the uh, scenics etc and hopefully give you some inspiration. And um, Thank you Susan. As Susan did mention earlier 
This layout has been on the exhibition circuit. It's last ever show been at Shipley two years ago when we exhibited it to reveal what work we had actually done. Which as you can see, we've done quite a bit here. For example, the milk in the background, Ryburn milk, that was never there when we inherited the layout from Pico. It was just the four sidings that you see. And as you move along, we've redone all the static grass in the background. A lot of the stuff you see here, we stock here and the Pico themselves, but most of it we've got from in-house. You've got a lot of ratio, wills, Metcalf in the background there as we pan over to the town scene. The town scene background was actually done by our Saturday team. Very well put together. And as we pan around you'll see some Oxford models on the high street, some bass toys, again some orchestral with the station building there. The Metcalf at the back once again. And then if you, as you look back towards the station you'll see we've completely relayed the station layout. The track had been down for nearly 14 years, it was no longer engaging parts and it was a bit, a bit worn so we've replaced it, it's now on code 55 Streamline. And another one to look at is the diesel TMD that you can see just on the camera there. That was originally a two road dairy, it had obviously the two servicing sidings for the uh, milk tankers, where now it is a three road diesel TMD. And onto the second half of the layout now, you can see there the viaduct is loosely based on the famous Ribblehead viaduct on the Settle to Carlisle Railway. As we pan down, we've done a bit of work on the passing loops, relaying those. As you can see, there's an engineer's train and a few Mark ones in store there, so we don't have a lot of siding space at the moment. As we head down, you can see our very own range of modelit signals, which do actually work. They are currently re uh, mag uh, magnetic reed switches underneath the track, which activate the signals. And finally, for the last leg of the tour, we are going to look at our own exclusive wagons made by Pico. The W Lister & Co Limited wagons based at Manningham, Lister Mills, very famously known for its rather large chimney. The wagons come in two options, number L101 and L106, both weathered or clean. What makes a layout? That is, of course, DCC sound. Here we see Macman's new Engage ATF with a pre installed DCC sound. We can here at Trans Model Models and Rails install sound in most Engage and double O gauge locomotives. The two companies we use for our sounds are Digitrains and YouTube. These are downloaded onto Zemo's chips where we then install them in the engine and set them so they match the wheel speed of the locomotive. We've just popped into the workshop. Uh, we're going to have a word with David. Um, he's our repairs and servicing manager. Uh, he's going to tell you a bit about what we do and also on a bit more about sound fitting. Hello, welcome to Fridanol Repair Station. One repair just com recently completed, an Intercity Class 43 that required servicing. That's not only the services we offer here, we can offer repair services for a wide range of parts from anything from brass gears to the ring field motors to valve gear. And basically, if you need a repair, come and speak to me and I shall see what I can do. But it's not the only thing. Over here, we've got our remag machine where old, old motors require magnets uh, so we can remag them, make a loco stronger and quicker. Uh, also in here we do our sound fitting. We use Digitrains and YouTubes as I spoke about in the earlier video. And um, that is all fitted and connected up here in the workshop. That completes the tour of the shop and a quick look at Ryburn Bridge. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you are in the area, why not pop in and see us? Alternatively, our website has all our products for sale and you can give us a call and we're happy to take your order over the phone. We also welcome pre-orders. Thank you for watching.